Hello everyone, welcome to channel Invest Function. In this video, we are going to discuss about the strategy in which you will be entering at or after 10.45 am in the morning. So this strategy consists of three main indicators. So we will use a combination of three indicators to take entry after 10.45 in the morning. So why 10.45 we will discuss that because in the early morning from 9.15 after the market opens till uh, for one hour or one and a half hours there will be uh, trend, uh, uh, trend uh, deciding will be there. The market will first 15 minutes the market looks like going down but suddenly it will reverse and hit our stop loss. So we will enter only after 10.45 using three main indicators that is uh, VWAP, Stochastic RSI and uh, Fibonacci pivot point. So we will use these things uh, and uh, if all the three indicators gives a signal we will go long. So this strategy works perfectly. Uh, we will also backtest some of the uh, data of uh, we will select any stock and we will apply that uh, indicators and see how it performed over the number of days and uh, how much target it has given. So you will be amazed. Let us quickly go and see the uh, strategy. So before going to look at the strategy if you are a beginner and would like to open an account I have given the link in the description of this video. You can use this link to open a DMAT account and get all the courses that are featured in our website powerpango.com. So thank you. So before going to load the indicators in the chart let us quickly see the overview of the strategy. Like I said uh, it consists of pivot points, VWAP and stochastic RSI. Uh, in addition we will also take entry whenever the uh, days high or low is broken based on the VWAP uh, line. Uh, we will see that in the chart. So uh, we will take you can take any stock and back test it. You can take uh, uh, Bajaj Finance, RCF, TCS, HDFC, any stock, SBI, any stock can be applied. Uh, for example, I will be taking Bajaj Finance to show you how this works. So once you open this chart, uh, you can change the time frame to 5 minutes. The first indicator uh, that we have discussed is VWAP. We will load that. So before that, why 5 minutes? 5 minutes is the best time frame for intraday. So I have used 5 minutes. So the indicator first will be VWAP. So this is volume weighted average price. So we, uh, uh, the next indicator will be first we will load the indicator then I will explain what these indicators does how to take entry and everything. Next is pivot point standard. So uh, once you uh, use this pivot go to settings and change to Fibonacci and pivot time frame will be daily and click OK. So you will have these lines uh, pivot R1, R2, R3. So these are the main important lines and this is VWAP line. Now we will also load the stochastic RSI. So I have loaded the stochastic RSI. Now we will see how uh, this actually works. So first criteria is VWAP. So okay, uh, whenever the price is above this VWAP line, you need to look for buy entry. Okay, that is the first. Case. Suppose if the price is below this VWAP line, if the price is trading below the VWAP line, you will go for you will look for short entry. You will be uh, selling the stocks. You will be going short. So first we will see. Uh, whether the price is above or below VWAP based on that we will decide whether to go buy or uh, go long or go short. Next we will also use this stochastic RSI to double confirm it. So uh, if you see if you see this uh, let us say you have two lines in stochastic RSI one is uh, blue line and red line. So uh, this is let us say this is red line and uh, this is a uh, blue line. So if this blue line is uh, cuts uh, the red line and uh, starts moving up this is a kind of buy signal you can see here this is buy but if the blue line is crossing the red line and going downward this is here it is sell. So we will also check this uh, if, if the VWAP sh shows a long signal we will also double confirm here whether uh, it is actually the, v the stochastic RSI is also showing a buy signal that is the blue line is cutting above the red line and is trying to go up uh, if it is if it is here it is VWAP is giving buy and this is giving long we will not uh, trade anything the third important is Fibonacci levels like I said 
so you can uh, take two kinds of uh, entries one is uh, whenever the uh, line this resistance is when the stock the price candle closes above the resistance and the VWAP line is again above this uh, and uh, we, when the VWAP line is, the price is above the VWAP line and the R1 is again uh, whether it is cutting the pivot and closing above or R1 closing above anything and the stochastic RSI is supporting we will go long okay uh, suppose on the downside if the pivot, if, if the price is breaking the pivot downside and uh, price is below the VWAP and uh, stochastic RSI is also giving sell signal we will go short okay well, this is one condition based on the target will be the next uh, resistance if it's breaking uh, r1 and closing then we'll go long and wait until to hit the r2 r1 is to 2 the risk reward you can set stop loss and risk but this is the concept uh, above the vwap by uh, supporting will be uh, break uh, closing above the vwap or r1 and uh, stochastic rsi signal so one like i said it it has to close above or you can also expect the price to close below the VWAP line sometimes uh, the price will be oscillating between pivot and R1 and uh, you can expect but this is giving signal uh, sell signal and you can also uh, take entry whenever the price breaks the pivot line so here if you see uh, but everything needs to be done at or after 1045 before that you should even if the entry comes you should not take because in the first uh, one hour one and a half hours there will be volatility mostly it will be hitting so here uh, you can see here price did not close below viva so there is no entry here this is around 1050 1055 i think correct this 1055 this is above so you will take entry only if it crosses above closes above r1 okay this is in between P pivot and r1 and that too uh, between pivot r1 and viva line so now here if you see it had closed below the VWAP okay exactly at 11.35 closed below the VWAP and still there is a sell signal in the stochastic RSI also uh, so see the blue line is still below the red line and still there is a sell signal so I will go short here at the close of this candle and uh, you can see you can calculate that this is the risk the high to low of this and this will be two times of the reward so mostly the target is given at 11 for 11 30 to 12 45 in one hour or 15 minutes target is given so next here you can see we will back test four or five days so that you get a clear understanding so here uh, you can see uh, it actually closed below the um, VWAP and uh, this is also given sell signal and our stop loss is hit here but taking the second entry it has broke, broken the day's low and it has given a uh, target so next we will see the third day so this is basically the concept so you can actually if you if you're not uh, if you're not okay with taking the um, entry whenever it crosses the view up you can wait for the day low to be broken or particular support and resistance line to be broken and closed below sometimes it will be hovering around the VWAP and uh, unnecessarily our stop loss it so it's your take whether to take uh, cutting the below the VWAP or crossing the day slow high or R1 R2 P1 uh, S1 S2 like that so if you see 12th uh, here at 1045 you have you can see it, it has given a good target if this is the 1045 candle it has closed below the VWAP and uh, it can it has given a, a very good uh, profit and uh, for double confirmation you can also see this is, it it started this sell signal exactly at this point exactly at 1045 this is the candle you can see we are already on the sell signal the blue line is below this now if you see on 11th uh, it will be very interesting so you see here it had actually at 10.45 we need to wait here till 10.45 see at 10.45 the candle is below this S2 but here it is a buy signal as per the VWAP we need to go short but stochastic RSI giving a buy so we will not buy, go we will not take anything because 
we need the confirmation for uh, VWAP and stochastic RSI to be in sync for going long. But if you see here at uh, 11 o'clock or something, uh, it has given a sell thing has crossed slightly below and uh, it had given a, a good target at here. It uh, entry would be here. The stop loss will be above S2 or 1 is to 2 based on your risk appetite and you can book the target. So similarly you can test for few days so that uh, you get a clear idea of uh, how the strategy has given the results. You can randomly check some dates and see uh, how it is working. Uh, what are the things that you need to um, check before taking entry everything. So this is the overall concept above the VWAP buy if the stochastic RSI is also giving some confirmation you can go long uh, and if it's closing below VWAP or above VWAP and P1, R1, R2 based on the lines you can take entry. So the target will be the next line if it crosses below we can expect the next line target. So you can check in any stock so mostly try the stock with uh, good uh, volatility so that it will be uh, easily the target can be hit. So that's all for today's video. I hope you got some idea about uh, how to get started. So thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.